Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Connect. I'm so glad you joined me on today's segment of Memories of Macedonia. It must have something to do with piparki. Guys, on today's segment of Memories of Macedonia, I'm going to be making one of the most beloved dishes in all of Macedonia and the Balkans. Today, we're going to be making polneti piparki. What that is, guys, is stuffed peppers. So, let's get to it. Welcome to the kitchen countertop, guys. All of the amounts will be in the description bar below. The first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is get your peppers cleaned and prepped. What type of pepper you use is up to you. Green, yellow, red, orange, or even a combination color, which I find really beautiful. So what you're going to want to do first is wash your peppers on the outside. And then remove the cap or the lid. Now, you can save these to reseal. However, this is how I do it. Take off the flesh. You're going to discard the stem end. And you're going to take out the seeds and the ribs and give this a good wash. Now we have all of our peppers prepped. The next thing I'm going to want to do is go ahead and just roughly chop the cap pieces. They don't have to be perfect, guys. So just continue with that, and then I'll show you the next Next step. thing you want to do, guys, is wash and rinse your rice really good. Now, in Macedonia, we use kind of like an arborio rice for some peppers. However, any rice will do. Um, if you want to use a uh, long grain, that's fine, parboiled, whatever. I have just a little bit over a cup here, so I'm going to wash and rinse my rice thoroughly. Now we're going to dice two large onions. You can use red, white, or yellow onions. Add your onions to some vegetable oil and we're going to saute these just until they soften. In the meantime, we're going to make our sauce. Very simple, guys, and it's not complicated. If you prefer to skip this part, you can just use a passata instead. Using the large holes on your box grater, simply go ahead and grate some tomatoes. I'm using about five. It depends on how much mince and uh, rice you're gonna use, how many peppers you're gonna stuff. So I'm gonna continue grating all of my tomatoes until they're in this bowl. Last one, guys. The great thing about peeling your tomatoes this way, or grating them rather, is that you're left with the skin. None of the skins go in. Now with our sauce, simply add a little bit of sea salt. Not too much, because we're going to season them later. Some cracked black pepper. And if you like, you can grate some garlic in here, or use a little bit of garlic granule. It's completely up to you. Alright guys, to our pan that our peppers are going to go in, I have those reserved caps that I cut up. I'm going to sprinkle about half of them on the bottom. Doesn't matter how, just toss them in. To which I'm going to add some of that fresh tomato sauce. Guys, if you can do this, please do. It makes a world of difference, believe me. So just a little bit of it. Which I'm going to add some hot water until we reach about halfway up. Perfect. So don't forget, we're still putting the peppers in there. Now what you're going to want to do is put some paprika, sweet paprika, guys. And this will kind of make a sauce 
and it won't be too saucy. And then a good dollop of vegetable oil. Give this a mix around and then we'll go ahead and check on our onions. So our onions are looking good. They're getting nice and soft. What I want to do is just add just a touch of hot water. And a little bit of vegeta. Again, guys, vegeta can be found in most grocery stores worldwide. There's other names for it. Name brand is basically a vegetable spice. So I'll go ahead with this, and then we're going to go ahead and add our rice and meat components. Hey gang, I've gone ahead and added my meat. Now what I'm using is a combination of pork and beef. All of the amounts will be below. However, if you just want to use pork, or just want to use beef, or lamb and pork, or lamb and beef, whatever strikes your fancy, that's fine. However, be aware that the most traditional way is with pork and beef. And that's how I'm making mine. So I'm just going to give this a little stir. I don't want to overcook it. And then I'm going to put in my rice. Okay, gang, since my meat now has gotten nicely mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and season this. I'm going to just put a little bit more baguette, not too much because it's salty. I'm going to add some sweet paprika. If you want to use hot, by all means, use hot. A few grinds of salt. And some pepper. Give this a stir. And we'll go ahead and add our rice. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and add my rice. Now, if you want to cook your rice ahead of time, go ahead and do that. I often do, um, just because I don't want it to be too ricey and gloopy. gloopy. But, um, again, that's up to you. This is going to par cook on the stove top. To which we're going to then go ahead and add our beautiful, fresh tomato puree or sauce <coughs> and what we're going to now let this do is simmer for about 15 minutes and what I'll do then is I'll bring you back. Guys I'm going to add a little bit of parsley to this as well and that's optional. So we'll see you in a bit when this is ready to be stuffed. Hey gang, welcome back. It's time to stuff our peppers. What I've done with my mixture is I actually did go ahead and add parsley and I added a little bit of Bukovic's pepper. I'm a Macedonian boy, I have to add my heat. <laughs> Basically, it's a hot chili pepper flake. It's optional, you don't have to put it in. Right, so my meat mixture is ready. It's not dry and it's not soupy. It's perfect for stuffing. So what we're going to go ahead and do now, should probably use a smaller spoon, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to stuff these and we're going to pack them in. Hope I'm showing you. Pack them in quite good. And they don't have to be all the way up to the top. Okay? So just make sure they're packed in quite good. I'm going to add them back into the pan. Now, I'm going to continue stuffing these. And I'll, I mean, I'll show you one more if you prefer. Whoop. And don't throw out any of the juices in the bottom of the pan either. So give it a good push down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue stuffing all of my peppers. And I'll bring you back and show you what I do before we put them in to the oven. Okay, so continue with all your peppers in the same time. Alright gang, I have enough stuffing to actually squeeze in 
one more pepper. So what I'm going to do at this point in time is I have my reserved parsley and pepper caps, which I'm going to sprinkle in, getting the pepper caps kind of at the bottom. And then we're going to get some parsley on top as best we can. That looks lovely. Just a little bit of like a top of the peppers because the peppers need to be seasoned themselves. And the sauce underneath is seasoned already, so the bottoms are good. Seasoned. Just a little drizzle of vegetable oil. And lastly, some paprika. Guys, again, you can use hot, smoked, sweet, up to you. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wash my hands and wash the counter. I'm going to cover this with some tin foil and this is going to go into the oven at 200 Celsius for about 45 minutes covered and then we're going to uncover it, see how the peppers are and then we're going to cook them additionally anywhere between a half hour to another 45 minutes. Alright, so next step, cover these with tin foil into the oven, 200 C and we'll see you when they come out. Hey gang, our stuffed peppers have just come out of the oven. They're piping hot, but they're absolutely beautiful. Now, I want to do this carefully. I'm going to turn them around so you can see all angles. They're just so good. And this place smells awesome. It is Macedonia for sure in this apartment. Guys, I'm gonna let these cool down a bit because they're really, really hot. And then we'll plate up and we'll eat. If you like what you're seeing so far, give me a, a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and my Facebook page will be below. So we're gonna plate up a couple of photos and we're almost done, guys. Hey gang, our stuffed peppers are all done. Beautifully cooked, soft, but firm, just amazing. So all I have to do now is to put over some of that gorgeous sauce. Oh yeah. Just amazing. You can serve this with some salad if you like, crusty bread, however, I have a nice green onion here and I have a piece of white cheese which I'm gonna add on because cheese is good guys guys that's it I hope you really enjoyed this couple of photos to follow as I said please like subscribe share and we'll see you on next time on memories of Macedonia either follow no either thank you so much Ciao.